Have you ever felt like every road you took led you to a place you didn't want to be? And when you got to that place, you hated your options. That's how I felt when I realized I needed to leave the job I loved to have the family life I dreamed of. It was the right option for me. I know that now, but I wasn't always so sure. Growing up, I did not have a clear idea of what I wanted to do professionally. When I found journalism in college, I had no doubt. That was the road for me. The excitement of people buzzing around the newsroom, the challenges of finding top news stories, breaking news. The adrenaline was exhilarating. I was in my element, on the road to my goal, a producer at the Today Show in New York City. Since I worked such awful hours, we're talking 11 p.m. to 7 a.m., I sometimes wondered how I was going to make those hours work when I had a family. Because growing up, I did picture what it would look like to be a mom. And what I saw was the same thing I grew up with. A mom and dad who never, ever missed an opportunity to volunteer at my school. A mom and dad who are always front and center with their video cameras on for every dance recital, every piano performance. A family that valued sitting around the dinner table talking about our days and our bedtime routine of reading books. That's what I wanted for my kids. These were memorable motherhood moments I did not want to miss. As time went on, I started thinking more seriously about how I was going to integrate my personal and professional lives into one. If I was up all night producing TV, I'd have to sleep during the day. Would we really sit together and watch shows, eat dinner, read books if I was scrambling to get out the door? These were questions that I had, but they were in the back of my mind, the very, very back of it, because I was only 24 and I absolutely loved my job. As time went on some more, my husband and I decided we were ready to start a family. And those worries I had years before came back. If I stayed in TV, I'd miss out on these priceless periods of my kids' lives. If I left, I was giving up on my career. At that moment in time, I thought I only had two options, my dream personal life or my dream professional one. Two generations ago, my grandmother had one option. Society expected her to drop out of college to stay home with her kids. One generation ago, my mother had two options. She could either stay at her in-office, full-time physical therapy position, or she could leave and stay home with my siblings and me. She opted to stay home with us for many, many years, but it did impact her career growth. Now, my generation is realizing we may actually have more than two. Many of us are off-ramping from the traditional nine to five, on-ramping onto a new way of integrating our personal and our professional lives into one. We call it the entrepreneurial way. Almost every single parent I've ever spoken to, including my own, talk about how hard it is to juggle work with life. It is something we have all struggled with for years. It's why in 2013, when I found out I was pregnant with my oldest daughter, I looked at my options. I could either stay at the job that I loved, but crash as a mom, or I could go down a different road. I had no idea what I was going to do professionally, and the thought of having a huge resume gap made my heart race. But I did know I wasn't willing to sacrifice family memories for a job, regardless of how much I loved it. So I resigned. I started and finished graduate school, I had another baby girl, and I went to more mommy and me classes than I can count. And I loved every single second of it. Okay. If I'm going to be perfectly honest with all of you, I didn't love every single second of it, but you get the picture. <laughs> then COVID hit. And the road I took back in 2013 became bumper to bumper, with millions of parents trying to figure out how to juggle work with life. COVID forced all of us 
including corporate America, to reevaluate how we did things. It forced employers to give employees flexibility, not necessarily because they wanted to, but because they needed to in order to survive the shutdowns. Every single industry, including TV, introduced new ways to work. I saw just enough flexibility added to TV that for a hot second I thought, hey, maybe I could actually go back and do that. After all, I was watching my friends and former colleagues produce news from the comfort of their own homes. And I was watching anchors and reporters do their jobs from their living rooms. But even with these new remote possibilities, the thought of going back to that lifestyle made it physically impossible for me to take a deep breath. Sacrificing my motherhood moments is something I refuse to do. I don't have to, and neither do you. OK, so then what are the options? Many, including myself, are turning to entrepreneurship, building new brands and businesses with women leaders in the driver's seat. We aren't trying to infiltrate the C-suites of already existing companies, we're building our own PR firms, communications agencies, maternal wellness companies, childcare spaces, businesses providing real solutions to real problems. And we aren't doing it alone. It takes a village to raise a child. Now, it's those same villages that are helping us raise our children and build our businesses. We are coming together to create our own hours and our own rules, building an empathetic ecosystem of individuals who understand the juggle is real. These villages of entrepreneurs, ones who don't want to sacrifice financial success for time with their kids, are popping up all over the place, both in person and online. I know because I'm a part of many of them. Taking the time to build relationships with these villages of entrepreneurs changed the trajectory of my career, giving me the confidence I needed to go down that new entrepreneurial road. Now, I'm a PR strategist, and I have my own communications agency, where I work on integrating traditional and non-traditional PR into one cohesive strategy. The traditional ways of corporate America rarely worked for parents. Now, we are speaking together, coming out to move humanity forward in a way that works for us, in a way that works for our families. We are banding together to find the options that work for us as individuals, as parents, and as professionals. We are figuring out ways to collaborate, build relationships, and pave the road for the next generation my daughter's generation, where undoubtedly the work-life juggle will be real, but there will also be tons and tons of people out there who understand the juggle exists. At one point in time, my road was straightforward. I had a goal of being a producer at a top morning show in New York City. But when the goals changed, I realized that straightforward road wasn't getting me to where I wanted to be. When I got to those forks in the road, the ones that made me feel like I needed to either pick a career in media or the family life of my dreams, I took none of them. And you have that option too. Swerve. Take the road you might not know existed one where you can have the benefits of both the career track and the mommy track. You don't have to take the traditional nine to five road or the stay at home one. You can take a different road. For me, that was the entrepreneurial road. But who knows how many other options are out there? You just have to look for them. And you too can be at every school volunteer opportunity every dance recital, every sports game, you can have dinner with your families every single night, and you can have the privilege and enjoyment of reading those same bedtime stories over and over and over and over again. 
these are moments you don't need to miss because of work. Once I realized every road I took led me to a place I didn't want to be, I stopped, reassessed, and took my time to find the road that worked for me, one where I didn't need to sacrifice my dream personal life for my dream professional one, a road where I could have both. So stop, reassess, and take your time to find the road that works for you as both a parent and a professional. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.